In this lesson, you'll learn how to refund. First, I'll show you how to refund an item via the client history. There are several ways to access a client's history, but I'm going to go through the client list. If the client was a walk-in, you can select walk-in and view the history for all walk-in clients. Or you can select a client from the list and then click on History. Once you've found the transaction, right-click on it and select Refund. And Shortcuts is telling us that the client's refund has been added to the point of sale. So we'll click Done and go into the point of sale. And now we can see the item with a negative quantity of 1. To process the refund, press End Sale. We can then select the payment type that the refund will go towards. This could be cash, credit card, or the client account. In this example, the money will be put onto the client's account as store credit. We'll then be prompted to select a reason for the refund and select an action for the refunded item. In this case, the item was defective. So we're going to return it to the manufacturer and press Done. Now when we view the client in the client list, we can see that she has $23.95 credit in her account. Now I'll show you how to refund an item when the client has purchased the wrong item and now wants to purchase a different item. You can process the new item in the same transaction as the refund and shortcuts will calculate any price difference. So once you have the refund ready at the point of sale, click on an empty sale line and select the new item that the client wants to purchase. In this example, the new item is more expensive, so Shortcuts has calculated that the client owes us $7. We'll then select the payment type, in this case it's going to be cash, and press End Sale. We'll then select Incorrect Product as the reason, and add the item to our stock. Another way to refund is by manually changing the item quantity to negative 1. So I'll click on a sale line and then select the item I want to refund. Then I'll click on the quantity cell and change the value to negative 1. And press end sale to complete the refund. Now that you know how to refund, you can manage items returned by your clients.